G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. It's been two days since I left these rusty tools in the tank of, of the container of molasses and water and after and after taking them out this morning and checking them um, a significant amount of rust has come off these tools and it's pretty much hardly any surface rough rust left on them at all. Before, before then though it was pretty much clumped up with rust and yeah looked pretty much like those files in the bucket there and these um, pegs and stuff but now uh, it's pretty much only a very light tarnished layer of rust on there when I took when I taken them out this morning I gave them a good scrub down with the wire brush and yeah, used a rag to wipe off the rust slurry and they've come up very good. They're pretty much, they're, I mean, just as they are, they're pretty much very well usable. So that's really good. Um, yeah, one of the one of the best results I've seen was one of these um, Allen keys. Just going to try and find it. Ah, oh, yeah, here we are. This um, this one here, uh, pretty much, nearly all the rust has come off, and it's start. I'm starting to actually see the uh, silverness of it again, which is really good. So, yeah, amazing, amazing stuff. This molasses and water is in removing rust. Um, now. I've added a lot more molasses to the tank and water. But, as a matter of fact, I've added about two jars of molasses. They're pretty well cheap, only a few dollars each. So yeah, there's now two and a half um, gla um, glass jars of molasses in the tank and mixed with, um, yeah, ten times the amount of water to molasses. <laughs> So now I can fit a lot more rusty tools and rusty pieces of metal in the tank, which I'm quite happy with. So yeah, I'm going to put these tools back in the tank and I'm going to uh, add more pieces of um, rusty metal and rusty tools. So which I'll leave in the tank for a number of days to get the rust off them. Anyhow. This is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel, signing out.